Hi, welcome to the Gear Garage. My name is Zach. This is my little embarrassing show about whitewater stuff. And in this episode, I want to talk about cutting the sea. A lot of people ask about how to do how to read water, and one of the early things to learn is a technique called cutting the sea. And we usually put it together with, with shooting the V, which I'll talk about later. Cutting the sea is a big one. Before we get started, I want to just mention that this month I'm working with my, with my friend Nick on developing an online rowing course. Just a bunch of videos. We're shooting video every day, getting very specific shots to match things. And it'll be for sale here pretty soon. Uh, we'll have something. It's a fun project for us. And uh, for those of you that want more detailed instruction about rowing, it'll be in there. Uh, but Gear Garage episodes to me are just like a, like it's verbal diarrhea. I'm going to just say things I think about topics. It's not always complete and it's not always well thought out. It's just the best I can do, like looking at the camera like I am now. Uh, by myself or sometimes with my friend Dick watching laughing at me. So uh, let's talk about cutting the sea. So again a lot of you are wondering how do I read water and reading water is hard and it's hard to teach and I kind of think of it as like learning Chinese. There are a lot of characters out there. It's not just a few things to learn. There's a lot to learn and it would take a long time to read water. So it's not something we can just quickly teach but we can start with some of the basics and one of the basics uh, is just like I mentioned earlier cutting the sea and the sea is if you look from a bird's eye view top down you're gonna see a big sea in the river it forms a sea and in that sea the water is moving faster on the outside than the inside all the water is going around the bend but the water on the outside has to has to move a little bit faster to make it around and we typically run seas to the inside so cutting the sea means like if there's a sea cutting through that sea and there's a few reasons why. One is there's typically like dangers on the outside of bends. Either trees pile up for whatever reason, dangerous things, or the river can cut an undercut wall, which is also a danger. And so there's typically more dangers on the outside. It's also easier to move from the inside to the outside than it is from the inside, the outside to the inside. So if you're trying to maneuver in the rapid and you're on the inside, you can quickly get yourself to the outside if there's a danger on the inside. So because it's slower water, you have more time to make a decision, you can move to the outside quick and easy, and because the danger's on the inside, it's a great generalization to stay to the inside of the turn. And you know you can do this a few different ways. I mean, you can, if it's easy, we typically push on the oars, kind of push on the inside, and stay sort of on that inside eddy line. Or if it's a big aggressive move, turn the boat around and maybe do a downstream ferry pulling your boat backwards if you really have to stay on the on the inside. So in talking about cutting the sea, you know, people teach it and it's a bird's eye view. It's really hard. It's not what you see. Like hopefully you understand the concept. If you look down, you cut the sea. But what we visually see coming down is a river taking just a sharp bend to the right or a bend to the left, just depending on, you know, the river. And so what you're going to visualize is that sharp end. And usually when there's a sea, the river's narrowing, like it's wide and it narrows and goes around to sea. And so you're going to see lateral waves making a V as well. And so, so you're looking for a big bend and you want to stay to the inside. So you're kind of making your way over there. And typically there's some sort of lateral guard wave. And so you have to kind of tee up to the wave and break through those waves. As the rapids get bigger, those laterals obviously get bigger. So, those are some quick thoughts on cutting the sea. If you have questions, comments, things to add, we're about to film a very complete video on cutting the sea, not just this quick one where I, I say my quick thoughts. And so if you have anything to add for our video, please add it in the comments sections below. And um, yeah, that's it. See you next time. Thanks.